Okay, we're going to do an excellence problem by calculating mean. So when we're calculating mean, um, and we're going to be given information like standard deviation, and they're actually going to give us the entire statement, which is the probability that x is less than 903 is equal to um, 0.657. Now, if we draw this, um, you can start by just drawing it like we would normal. The problem is, is that we don't know what the mean is. But it, the probability that x is less than 903 is 0.657, or 65.7%. Draw something like this. If this is 903, then basically we're looking at all of this area over here. The problem is, is that a um, couple of problems is we don't know what the mean is. And in order to do the mean, we're going to have to use the standard uh, sorry, this is x minus this mean over the standard deviation. So we, we need to use um, this formula. The problem with this formula is we have x and we have the standard deviation. We don't have mean and we don't have z at this point. So we need to find z and z is just basically the number of standard deviations that 903 basically is away from the mean, right? It's the distance away from the mean. And, um, and we need this, that z value. So basically what we do is we look at sta standard normal um, graph, which we've talked about briefly before, we haven't done much on. But a standard normal graph basically has assumed to be a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, so we can use that to help us basically find our desired z, which is just the distance that 903 is away from the mean. So we standardize that. So what we do is we throw these, um, throw this into the calculator using inverse normal. And what we do is we put the area in we put um, the standard deviation, which in this case is 1, and we put the mean in as 0. So if we were to do this on a calculator, we would go to our menu, we would go to stat, we would go to um, distribution, normal, inverse normal. Now, we're area to the left, so that's good, so we can leave that the way it is, and then we got 0.657. And then the mean or the standard deviation is one, the mean is zero, that's all good, and then we get a value. Now that value of 0.404, that's the stand, that's Z. Z is 0.404. By standard normalizing things and the and, and being able to use the mean of zero and the standard deviation of one, we can find out basically the distance that 903 is away from zero, from the mean. And in this case, it's 0.404. So at that point, we can um, use our formula get rid of this, to find, um, we can use our formula to find x minus the mean over the standard deviation. We can modify that so now we can find the mean because we've got this, we've got x, and we've got the standard deviation. So basically we just rearrange this and if you rearrange this you're going to end up getting um, x minus z times the standard deviation. You're going to get this z times the standard deviation. You're going to get that formula. So if we plug in all the values, if we plug in mean is equal to, and we know x is 903 minus z, which is 0.404 times the standard deviation. And when we calculate that all up, we get um, 903 uh, minus 0.404 times 17.3896. That's our mean. 
And if we go back to our graph, it makes sense. This, this would be 896. That's our mean. That's um, 903 on the other side of the mean, which makes sense to the question, and that's how you do um, that kind of a question.